Hi everyone, welcome to Games of the Week for the 19th of September and let's get right to it. So new videos this week, there was Spirits of the Rice Paddy, the solo version on Wednesday and I forgot to mention in the video but I mentioned it in the description now in the comments, someone reminded me that the solo components don't actually come with the game, they were a Kickstarter extra so you can get them from Ape Games directly but you, you don't really need the components that much. You need the values on the cards more than anything, the values on the solo cards. Everything else, like the hex and things, you don't really need. And on Sunday, we had the Midnight Legion, which is a game book. It's a kind of evolution of a choose-your-own-adventure game. You have a character sheet, there's skill checks, there's combat, there's a lot more than you might expect from just reading a paragraph and picking a choice. There's a lot more going on in the game, and the story's really interesting, and I've tried to keep... There's a, there's a little bit of a spoiler video in the in the playthrough where I go through I don't go very far in it so there's not that many spoilers but anything can be a spoiler when the game is all about the story and exploration so the review is hopefully spoiler free so that's the Midnight Legion and that's it for new videos so let's go on to the news because there's a there's a little bit more than there was last week so first there's Forestaurant I think that's how you might say it imagine forest and restaurant combined pronounce that it's the Nesson release from Cogitate Games. This is a co-op game where we will manage a restaurant for animals. And you have to be aware of the taste of different species, where you're gonna sit them, don't sit certain species next to others, and ultimately earn the respect of every species by serving them great food. And when you're preparing meals, all players can play cards to help and give ingredients to help, and it sounds like a fun co-op game. Looking forward to seeing more from that because the the web website is kind of under, under construction right now, so more information should be coming before Essen. There's Morpheus, which is from the designer of Thrash and Roll, Christov Matusik. hope I'm pronouncing that right. So I'm, I say that pretty much every video. Uh, we are Dreamweavers vying for the attention of the new leader, Morpheus, and we will be drafting dice to get resources and doing some worker placement to, our aim is to weave the most dreams with the most powerful energies to become Morpheus's right hand. And that sounds very interesting to me. And I was a fan of Thrash and Roll, so looking forward to that. I think that's an Essen release as well. Then there's Ravenwood, which is from Clockwork Games. And here's the story. In the town of Ravenwood, a professor was constructing a time machine and now he and the device have vanished. Throughout the game, we will be playing as a character trying to solve the mystery while also still running their business, shipping goods. The winner is the player who contributes the most towards solving the mystery and gets to assemble the time machine miniature before rescuing the professor. And I love the synopsis and the idea of the game and the visuals too. I'll put some pictures here next to me of the time machine and some of the components. But the, the idea of the game, resource management, exploration, puzzle solving, can't wait to see more of that. That is going to be a Kickstarter in the near future, but it's just been posted on Board Game Geek and you can take a look at them on Facebook and things. There is The Legend of Sabak from Gamdao Games, and this is an Essen release. It's the first in a business game series. Sabak is the leader of a merchant caravan in a Buddhist fable, and we act as he did and try to gain as much profit as we can while we're on a very dangerous journey, and we have to balance the resources and make tough choices. And that sounds interesting. There's Adventureland, King and Princess, and that's another Essen release from Haber. It's the expansion to last year's Adventureland, and I really enjoyed that. So this is three new scenarios and the components for them. Loved Adventureland, and more for it can only be a good thing. And finally, I'm sure you've heard about this if you are subscribed to any of the big YouTubers, Mechs vs Minions, because all of the videos suddenly appeared last night when uh, a press embargo ran out and you can have playthroughs from your choice. There's the Dice Tower, there's Rado, uh, there's Watch It Played did one. I'm sure a lot more people did one, but it, it looks amazing. Uh, this is the first game from Riot Games, and if, uh, if you're unaware, they are the makers of League of Legends, a hugely popular online video game, and I couldn't be more excited about this. Uh, nobody knew about this before it was happening. Well, the, the public didn't know, but now it's all announced. It's it's shot to the top of my anticipation list. There's probably a couple of, you know, games that I'd, I knew before for Essen that I'm still excited about. But this, as I played League of Legends compulsively for quite a while, I'm, I've kind of broken away from that now. But there was a good maybe two year period where I was playing League of Legends and not doing much else. So a game with those characters, the world that I know, and the gameplay sounds fantastic. 
I mean, the I've only watched Rado's videos, but his opinion was fantastic of it, and he doesn't play the video game, he's aware of it. But seeing those characters, the miniatures, ev everything about it, this has been said before, as I've said, other YouTubers have covered this, but everything looks beautiful in there. You're getting so much in that box, beautifully painted miniatures for the characters. The gameplay looks fantastic. Programming these mechs to do certain things every turn and trying to get the cards in the right order so that they'll be the characters are going to attack the minions and go in the places that you want them to. And that's a time draft to get the cards you want into the programs. There's 10 missions included in the game that change the rules every time a new mission is introduced. There'll be new rules or maybe they'll change rules. They definitely change the behavior of minions. There's a box in there with some mystery in there. I haven't, I'm, I'm sure you can find out quite easily on the internet somewhere what's in that, but I don't know yet. And that comes out on the 13th of October and it's only available from Riot's merch store. And they have merch stores all around the world, I think, so you should be able to get it from somewhere. And yeah, it looks fantastic. And I think that's all for Games of the Week this week. And I will see you for the next game video on Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.